Louisiana Beer Review's Terrapin Pumpkin Fest, a malt bre beverage brewed with pumpkin spices. Yeah, it's a beverage. Um, limited release seasonal. Well, I bought this at Stein's Deli, not at Terrapin Station. It's 6.1% alcohol, 23 international bitterness units. They use Munich, Vienna, Munich 2, Cara, Munich 2, Melanoid, and Barley Malts. That's all the ones they use there. Now the hops are Vanguard, Hallertal, Herzbrucker, and the additives are cinnamon, ginger, allspice, cloves, and pumpkin. Um, I think this came out around 2009 as a side project and then it became like a permanent seasonal from what I understand. This malt beverage gets a good score on Beer Advocate. The bros say good. A 90 out of 100 on Rapier, however, and a 96 out of 100 for the style. And Greg's Beer Review say, this, said this was a pumpkin lager. And I've never had a lager pumpkin beer, but I just keep trying different beers until to things which are unknown become familiar. Okay, um, that smoke, well, maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. Okay, this is a turtle, a terrapin, dressed up like a farmer with a bunch of pumpkins. And he's got a pumpkin tapped. On the last Terrapin review, I said, there's a guy with a surfboard. Somebody said, that's a turtle. I realized that after I had said it and was looking at the playback, and it was too late. Too late, baby, now. Okay. Well, that's a thick, cream-colored head, and the sun is right there in my face. And it's an orange appearance. Huh. Orange like pumpkin. And it's got a little haze running through it and a lot of bubbles streaming. And not a touch of sediment at the bottom. Now, it smells very malty. Yes, there's some vegetable coming in. And there's some spices, but like they said on the website, it's not overdone. So there's not a lot of vegetable. Veg vegetable. There's not a lot of spice. It's really just more of a malt aroma. Maybe if you didn't tell somebody this was a flavored spice beer, they might not even notice. They might not notice. Yeah, now in the flavor is more spicy, okay? So you're getting that Jamaica pepper or the grains of paradise. The, the um, cinnamon from a cinnamon girl um and you're getting some pump pumpkin but it's so low profile this is this is not like shipyard pumpkin head which um smelled like cost plus world market <laughs> i like the pumpkin head though it was just kind of weird um i like this I think I'd be more in line with Beer Advocate saying that it's more in the good range than this fantastic 90s and 90 whatever, uh, like rape beer. Uh, but let's see, give it a, the mouthfeel is kind of light to medium. And the finish is on the dry side, really. And it's refreshing and it's easy drinking. So if you want a flavored beer, a pumpkin beer, a fall beer, even though it's summer still, that's not too like over the top with all that and that turns people off really kind of turns me off this might be one you would like uh, it's kind of reminding me of what's some other ones that are like low profile not too much in your face maybe that um post road pumpkin ale um or pumpkin i think it's an ale and um I know that's one I'm thinking of that's not too too overdone. Pumpkin, people bragged about that to no end, but I tried that. I didn't do a video, but I tried it, and I, I'm, 
like it <laughs> too much. It's like just having a mouthful of spice and alcohol. Yeah, this this is growing on me as I'm drinking. I was gonna say B plus, but I think I'm gonna go to A minus. I think it is an excellent, excellent beer at the lower end of excellent, but it's still excellent. So if you see it, buy it, try it, you'll probably like it. And I'm gonna end this review by saying, go Saints, go, go Saints, go.